So how do we put in perspective in a way maybe people can understand better the loss of power generation under the Trump administration from renewable projects he's can? And the only way I can think about doing it, first of all, it's enough power generation for roughly 2 million homes. A little under like 1.95 million homes. What would it take to replace that in, say, natural gas? So year one, roughly 380 new natural gas wells would have to be drilled and anywhere from 18 to 23 new natural gas fired electricity generating plants would have to be built depending on their size. If they're all the biggest ones, then 18 will do it. But keep in mind, that's just year one. Those 380 wells decline in production, their production drops. So every single year after that, you're drilling hundreds of more wells. After five years, you've had to drill over a thousand more natural gas wells just to offset what has been canceled to date. But how many natural gas wells would we have to drill to replace all renewable energy, when I say all, I mean wind and solar, because that's what they want to get rid of. Now, we know they're not going to get rid of it, all of it, but that's what they want to do. They want to do away with every bit of it. What would you have to do to replace this? And this is just based off current renewable energy that is wind and solar. Not anything being built, it's just what's running right now. And I did this over a five-year period because with wind and solar, once they're built, they're built. You don't have to add anything to it. With natural gas, you have to constantly drill more wells and add more capacity. So in the very first year, right off to start, we would have to drill 18,000 new natural gas wells and build approximately 45 new one gigawatt natural gas powered plants. That's year one. For year two, we have to calculate the decline rates of those 18,000 wells and the increase in demand for electricity due to data centers. And by the way, those 18,000 wells, that's three times more wells that were ever completed in a single year in the entire Permian Basin. 6,000 is their record. What I'm saying is, that's a lot. The second year, 23,200 new natural gas wells and 63 one gigawatt natural gas powered plants. So not only are we calculating the decline in production, but also the increase in demand. Now, in the third year, we get a bit of a break. We only have to drill 12,700 new natural gas wells and construct 26 one gigawatt natural gas powered plants. And that's because the wells we drilled in year one haven't reached something that's called terminal decline yet. But they're about to. You're going to see it in year four. Because in year four, it's 24,000 new natural gas wells and 61 one gigawatt natural gas plants. So year five is 18,000 new natural gas wells and 36 new one gigawatt natural gas power plants. After five years, we've had to drill almost 100,000 natural gas wells. That's just to offset whatever renewable energy would be taken away. And just under 300 new natural gas powered one gigawatt power generating plants. But there's something big that I left out. The increases in LNG exports that we have planned. What that means is these numbers are very conservative. So if you don't think renewable energy works, why would we have to drill over 100,000 natural gas wells over the next five years to replace it? Thanks.